So all we have to do now is to drag a, a mesh into the scene and uh, center it and then we simply can go to add component type in furball and select the ornatrix furball and uh, now you see here um, a complete furball with guides from mesh hair from guides frizz curl and a gravity operator and you can now select any of these and go to any of the settings and adjust those so if we uh, go for instance to hair from guides we can simply adjust the root count you can also change any of the uh, other uh, settings and um, changing the guides count should also be working and we have a uh, frizz modifier we can change So now um, if you want to add any uh, operators you can go you have to select the uh, ornatrix firmware first which is Im important otherwise uh, this uh, won't be working so you go to add component and simply type operator and then you see all the operators that we currently have so for instance let's just use the uh, surface com operator and it does work nicely um, you can also delete the operator and uh, deactivate it and um, this works with any sort of mesh so if I drag the uh, cylinder in here And place it here and maybe a cube and a con we can add the furball to all of those just to show that it works with any mesh So that's kind of cool. So we can even go further. I'm going to lead these now. And place a, a landscape mesh in here with a lot of detail. And now we do the same here, but this time we use the dense furball. But we now have a very nice uh, dune like uh, landscape. And I think we can make it look even better. And uh, so you can do, do really cool stuff, not only uh, with hair, but um, 
also with a uh, grass and uh, stuff like that. Really cool is also uh, the hair shader. So if you uh, rotate this, the position of the sun, you see really nice, <coughs> really nice effects. Oh, that's a bit much. Oh, that really, really looks impressive. 